High School is welcoming the community to view their new athletic facility this evening. YSD held a ribbon cutting to showcase the $32 million complex. KTSM 9 News reporter Selena Quintana is live at Bel Air with a look at the new amenities. Selena. The complex behind me took 20 months to build, and many of you may remember that the glass windows were damaged a few months ago from bullet holes. That, however, didn't delay the process of finishing the project. The projects have come in on time. Uh, all of the projects are within budget. Uh, they're the quality, obviously, uh, that uh, our voters expect and that our teachers and students need and deserve. The $32 million complex features three levels of state-of-the-art athletic facilities and is home to the Carol Dibler Gymnasium. It also comes with new courts, a dance room, gymnastics facility, and weight training room. All from YASD's voter-approved 2015 $430 million bond. A, a, a breath of fresh air to our community. I think in a lot of ways it's also established a, a real sense of, of pride in the city of El Paso when you see a, a comprehensive high school uh, in El Paso, Texas build something as grand as this for our students and our community. That message is loud and clear that uh, we'll do anything it takes for our kids. Um, it's actually pretty cool. I mean, like, the area around here, like, not having much and then having this brand new gym is actually pretty nice. The new facility is a change needed not only by the school, but by the community. I love it. I love that people, when we talk about Bel Air, like, it gives Bel Air a name. Like, oh, this is Bel Air. Bel Air has this. And that's really a good feeling. The school feels the upgrades will make great accomplishments. It means that um, years and years of successful athletics, academics, um, and uh, a whole lot of community support is just going to be taken to another level. The three-level complex is the first of its kind in El Paso. I know I wish I was a student here at Bel Air so I could take advantage of the new facilities, but YASG says this is one of the many improvements being made across district campuses. Live in the Lower Valley, Selena Quintana, KTSM 9 News. All right, Selena, thank you very much.